<laughs> What's the dichotomy in having an ego? When is it good? And when does it get to a point where you have to check your ego? Okay, so the dichotomy is pretty clear. Um, ego drives you. Absolutely. It makes you want to win. It makes you want to perform well. It makes you proud of your achievements. It makes you want to be number one. And those are all good things. And I fully, fully have those myself. I mean, my ego will keep me up at night trying to win at some ridiculously meaningless thing in the world. Especially when I was younger. Mm-hmm. It was kind of stupid. Um, but the ego can also get you in trouble, get you in trouble really, really quickly. For instance, I mean, you can your ego can make you sabotage your coworker that's on the same team as you so that you can outshine them, right? Mm. That's ego. You can vote down a plan, a better plan, because that plan isn't yours. Mm-hmm. That's your ego. You can chase some material items, some thing, something that you don't really need. Maybe in some cases it might even be something that you don't actually even want. And it's just fueling your ego, mm-hmm. which is which is a really bizarre thing to see. It can make you step on your subordinates, right? Mm-hmm. It can make you undercut your peers because that ego flares up. It can make you your ego can make you dig in, <laughs> dig in on some stupid ideas that you've had. Those are the kind of things that ego do, and all those things are negative. So that's pretty clear to me where ego starts going sideways and and I would say even though like my ego always fueled me to 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 want to win but I never was that out of control where I was like screw and screwing people over because I wanted to win no I wouldn't do that that wasn't part of my personality wasn't I'm not that plus I was never really naturally good at much so it wasn't like I was gonna win. the only way I could beat people and things was but outworking them yeah <laughs> other than that I it would be hard for me yeah usually that kind of person who like you well the the two kinds of people one who who is down to like screw someone over Mm -hmm. or basically cheat you're you're cheating is what you're doing it's like i want to be here they don't necessarily want to quote unquote win because if you cheat it's not really winning you know the whole benefit of winning is like overcoming certain things you know but when you cheat it's like you're not going and you cheated you know whatever so it's less about it's more about you understanding really what winning is and that's what you like the winning you know yes yes that's why so like people who undermine you know cheat and and do this stuff it's like they don't want to win i'll I'll give you a good case in point when i remember when when i was going to seal training there was people there was guys that would like brag about it they were going through the same seal training class me same buds class me but they would like brag about it and like you could hear them talking to let's say some random person like yeah we're on the seal training i wasn't bragging about that i was like hey man i'm lucky i'm here and i realized that a lot of those people quit Mm -hmm. because they were comfortable they they, just being able to say like seal training they were already good with it they were like oh yeah i did what i'm supposed to do yeah so me i I, I didn't want to do that i didn't want to say anything until i made it through yeah and so um yeah so so what i'm saying is similar to what you're saying they were satisfied just by being able to throw that out there that was enough for them so for someone that's willing to cheat and win or they're eat they're willing to step on someone man that doesn't feel good to me that's never felt good to me like if i gotta step on someone i don't even want it i don't want that victory don't want it so it's like they want to some people want to look like they won and other people want to really win yeah of course that's really the difference yeah 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 so Back to the ego point, when you start feeling like you're doing some of those negative things, that's when you've got to put your ego in check. That's what you've got to support your coworker instead of sabotaging. That's when you've got to pick the best plan out there instead of picking your own. That's when you say, you know what, I'm happy with what I have mm-hmm. instead of chasing things that I don't even need. You know what I'm talking about when people like... 
if you ever there's been something that you wanted, even though you actually didn't even really want it, but you just want it just because you because it's pure ego, <laughs> pure ego. Yeah, like when you're in the weight room. Well, in growing up, like lifting weights, some guys would do this where they'd be lifting weights, and you can see a lot of times in these like like a 24 hour fitness situation where you be lift. Uh, Guys will be lifting weights, mm-hmm. and then one guy will, he, he's oh, dang, he's lifting kind of a lot. You'll see someone all of a sudden be doing that same exercise, like trying to lift more than that. He doesn't know him. He's not lifting with him. He wasn't even doing that exercise. It wasn't even his workout, but he's, he'll like try to do it, you know? Yeah. Bro, you weren't even doing that exercise. <laughs> you weren't doing bench today. Yeah. And now you're doing bench, you yeah. know? So chasing something you don't even want. Don't even you don't want even it need. that day. Don't need it that day. Uh, that's another big one is like when I talk about subordinates. Instead of cutting down your subordinates, you start lifting them up. You start making them shine. You start giving them the credit. Making them shine even brighter than yourself. That's that's the beautiful thing. When you can put your ego in check and you can make that happen. Making your own boss look good. Having an open mind to new ideas. Those are the things. That's how you put your ego in check. Those are the things that... Those are the those are the hallmarks of having your ego in check. Now, sometimes people don't know when they need to put their ego in check, and I think there's one really easy indicator to know when you need to just at least like do an assessment of your ego, and that is when you come into conflict with another person, because <laughs> because yeah, a huge percentage of conflicts that you have with other people are ego, yeah. are their ego. And so when you feel that conflict, whether it's about positioning, whether it's about an idea, whether it's about a plan, whether it's about, well, no matter what it's about. But if I'm in conflict with you on something, immediately I'm gonna say, okay, wait a second, is this your ego talking? Mm-hmm. Or are you, is, is this business or is this ego? Yeah. And if you do that, you will find yourself, you know, any form of frustration or anger that you have, just check your ego, and mm-hmm. there's a good chance that you're going to be able to take that thing, get a hold of it, and aggressively put it in check. It's hard. Your ego is a tough bastard. Yep. Your ego, man, that thing wants the spotlight. It wants to shine. It wants the glory, and it's it's driven. You yep. know, that's a lot of you high achievers out there. That's what's driving you, and that's not a bad thing. So when it comes time to harness that bad boy, it can be a challenge. <laughs> but yep. it's very rewarding when you make it happen. It's it's rewarding in a long term gratification. It's not immediate yep. gratification. Yeah. Generally, you know, you're given you're giving your subordinates all the credit for some for some project that they did, and, and you know that you could actually know that you did the bulk of the work, mm-hmm. but you give it away. That's not gratifying immediately. Mm-hmm. The immediately is like, yeah, that's right. Put the accolades on my head, <laughs> boss. That's immediate gratification that you're looking for. No, yeah. you say, hey, boss, you know what? Don't put the accolades on my head. Look at my team. Let's crown them because they really did a great job, yeah. and I'm just here to help them. Th- there's no gratification in that. But when you get feedback a week later, a month later, six months later, people want to come and work for your team. Now your team gets picked for another project. That's the long-term gratification that you get when you keep your ego in check. Yeah. That ego in check, people. Yep.